Which feature is considered one of the most essential ones for a Discord server? Well, besides commands, a leveling system is definitely up there. Seriously, hop into any Discord server and you'll come across level roles and a leveling system. But why is this so popular? Well, for one thing, it's an easy to understand and intuitive way to get members to be hooked onto your server. The more active they are in your server, the more they will be rewarded with roles with special access to other features. Secondly, it's just really easy to make. So easy, in fact, that you can make one on a web browser with BotGhost. Once you go into the BotGhost website and create a bot, you can scroll through the module list over on your left. You want to look for the module that says Leveling. Click on that module and enable the module. You will now have complete access to the leveling system that BotGhost provides. Let's talk about each one, starting with the embedded coloring. Embedded coloring allows you to change the color of the embedded message and it's displayed for all embeds of the module. The max level is pretty much self-explanatory. It's the max level that the user will have before they stop gaining levels. In the text box, you can set the level that you want the members to stop at, so once you reach that level, members will stop gaining XP. The additional required XP per level will increase the next level's XP requirement. So for instance, if I type down 50 in the text box, then every level would increase its XP requirement by 50. So a level that requires 200 XP will require 250 XP in the next level. Do note that this also sets the XP required for level 1. So in my case, level 1 requires 50 XP. The clear leveling data on leave checkbox is also self-explanatory. Basically, whenever a member of your server leaves, their leveling system will reset and will have to start off from scratch. The send a message to level up option lets the bot send out a message once that member levels up. The option is disabled by default, but clicking on the drop down menu gives you a variety of options to choose from. Let's go through each option, starting with current channel. Current channel, as the name implies, just sends an automatic message in the current channel that you leveled up in. The main thing you want to look at is the level up server message that popped up when you clicked on it. You can type the message that you want the member to see when leveling up right here. By default, this message should be on a plain text, but if you would like to have it be embedded, there is a toggle to change that on the right side. There are also variables to choose from the list. User just pings the user. User underscore name actually displays the name of the member. Level shows what level the member is in. XP shows how many XP that member has. Required underscore XP displays the amount of XP needed to reach the next level. And rank shows the rank of the member. Going back to the drop down list, custom channel does the exact same thing that a current channel does, only now a new pop up shows up asking for a custom channel. To direct whatever level up message you want into a custom channel, you can refresh the custom channel list and click on the drop down menu to look for a particular channel you want the message to be sent in. Direct message will have the level up message be sent to the member via a discord DM. The level up direct message is essentially the same thing that you would find from a level up server message, only now this time it's on a DM. Current channel and direct message is basically a combination of the current channel and direct message option. It just sends out a message on the current channel of the member leveled up while also DMing that member. The messages between a direct message and a server message are both separate and can be configured respectively. And finally, the custom channel and direct message is basically just current channel and direct message only instead of current channel, it's now a custom channel. So now you get a new pop-up asking for the custom channel you want the level up server message to be sent. Now, leveling up is cool and all, but you also need a level card to display whenever someone checks for their level. I'll keep this brief, but this is a premium feature for Bot Ghost, and you can customize these cards using four modes. Embedded is just the default mode, which just displays an embedded message. This is the only level card that's available towards free users. Default card shows a default preset of a card with an advanced color setting that changes its main color, circle color, empty bar color, fill bar color, level text color, experience progress color, and experience percentage color. Card with plain background color is the same as the default card, except it brings up a background color option to choose for the background. Last but not least, the custom image as background card does exactly what the name says. It just sets an image as the background for its card. You can input an image by using its background image text box to type in an image link. So now that we're done with the general settings and level card, let's talk about the message XPs. The XP per message is given in an range between a minimum value and a maximum value. The minimum XP per message 
message text box is where you set the minimum XP received per message, whereas the maximum XP per message text box is where you set the maximum XP received per message. The cooldown text box is how many intervals in seconds should the bot hands out XPs on a message. For instance, once I set the cooldown of 5 seconds, then members won't be able to get any XP for 5 seconds once they got their XP for a message. This exists so that members can't abuse the XP system by spamming messages in chat. Voice XP is another premium feature from BotGhost, but it allows users to gain XP whenever they join in a voice chat. Much like message XPs, this builds an incentive for members to be in voice chats by rewarding them with XPs. When the option is toggled on, you will be met with a bunch of new options. Let's go through each one, starting with the minimum time in voice. The minimum time in voice text box lets you set the minimum time it takes for a member in a voice chat to start receiving XP. The XP per session is the maximum amount of XP a member can gain by being in that voice chat. I personally recommend you set this value to 1000 if you don't know what you're doing or else the XP may be given incorrectly. The XP gain speed text box is how frequent you would like the bot to give XP to the player. If you don't know what you're doing, then I suggest you change the value to 0.0005. The last thing in voice chat settings is the cooldown. The cooldown in this case allows you to adjust the time it takes for a person to not gain any XP when leaving the voice channel. This is mainly done to avoid spamming for XPs. If you don't really care about this however, you can turn the cooldown off by typing in 0 in the text box. Alright. Now that we're done with the voice chat settings, let's talk about the channels and role settings. These are just settings made in relation to your Discord channels and roles. The admin roles are a list of roles that you want the members with that role to edit out any member's XP. So for instance, let's say you want the admin role to be able to manually change a member's XP. Assuming that you did create an admin role, you want to refresh the list and then look for the admin role. Select it and then hit save changes. Now the admin role can be able to change anyone's XP. The channel restrictions blacklist type is where you can select the Discord channels that you would not like anyone to gain XP on there. You can enable or disable channels from the blacklist, meaning enabling channels from the list will only allow XP to be gained from those channels, whereas disabling channels from the list would allow every channel to gain XP except for the ones on the list. Once you had selected either enable or disable channels, another menu will pop up. This is for the list of channels that you can add in respective to what options you have picked for the blacklist type. So let's say I only want the general chat to gain XP and nothing else. What I would do is set the blacklist type to enable for these channels, then refresh the list for selecting the channels, and then add in the general chat channel, and then hit save changes. Alright, so we added the XP and a leveling system for our Discord bot, but where's the rewards for those levels? After all, we need to have an incentive for the members to continue chatting and being active in voice chats in your Discord server. Well, this is where the role rewards come into play. First things first, there's the setting to stack rewards, which means that the level roles will not override each other when they receive another level role. Speaking of level roles, this is where you can add in role rewards. How role rewards essentially work is that once the member levels up to a level set by you, the bot will automatically give that member a role of your choice. The level text box is where you can type in to set the required level amount needed to obtain a role. The role reward is what role you would like to set it to. Let's say I want to make it to where the bot gives a user a legendary role once they reach level 50. Just set the level value to 50 and then hit refresh on role rewards and then choose the legendary role and hit add and then save changes. You may notice that there's upwards of 3 role rewards on the list for free users but there's a maximum of 100 role rewards total with premium. Alright let's talk about XP boosters. If you want to, you can set a boost of XP for those who has earned it or in case there is an ongoing event in your server. The Sum XP Boost setting sums the XP boost as the name implies. Do keep in mind that the setting is disabled by default. The randomized boost will make it so instead of giving the set amount of XP boost to the user, the amount of experience received from the boost will go around 1% and the boost percentage is assigned to the user. Now to implement the boost XP. Under the boost type, you can change on whether you would like to add in a roll boost or a channel boost. You can add in a roll boost if you would like to reward your members individually, whereas a channel boost is more akin to what an event should be like. Generally it's up to you. If you do pick a roll boost, you can choose the role in the boosted role list right below. However, if you do pick channel boost, there is a boosted channel list for you to pick a channel that you would like to receive a boost. Alongside this, you can also have the ability to enable boost XP in channel threads, so anyone who talks in these threads in that channel can also receive boost XP. Once you're done with a boost, click on add and save changes to add it in. Do keep in mind that free users have 3 boosters, while you can have upwards of 100 boosters at once with premium. 
There are only four commands that you want to be mindful of when dealing with this leveling system. The slash rank command allows someone to view their rank or other people's ranks in their level card. The slash level leaderboard command will display the level leaderboard, showing who is the most active members in your Discord server. The slash level edit dash XP command lets you edit someone else's XP or level. The slash level reset leaderboard will reset everyone's XP and level on the leaderboard. Keep in mind that there is no undo button on this. Once you reset, you cannot go back, so please be mindful of that. Now, the last thing I want to talk about are the events for the leveling module. Like I mentioned in the creating a bot video, events are listeners for the bot. They just continually check for events in your server and then trigger an action. The level up event occurs when a member levels up and will receive a message to them. The message experience will track a member's message and will give them XP for those messages when applicable. The voice experience join and leave event occurs once the member joins or leaves a voice chat and will give or stop giving XP respectively. And finally, the clear on leave event will clear out their XP, levels, and other leveling data once the member leaves the server. That's pretty much all the leveling module I had to offer, but if you still need trouble with some of the features that I had explained, you can always hit up the BotGhost Discord server if you ever need help. But nevertheless, now you can go out there and start making a leveling system on a Discord bot with the help of BotGhost.